In GC Unboxing this week, you lucky people are in with a chance of winning a set of Vision Metron 40s, deep section carbon wheels. And just so we don't leave anyone out, if you have already made the transition to disc brakes, well, we're giving away a set of Vision Metron 40 discs as well. Now they are super sexy, but you don't just have to take my word for it. I am gonna show you and we are in for a treat. I will tell you how to enter the competition in a little bit. But remember, it is open to any corner of the world. The winner will be chosen completely at random and be announced in a forthcoming GCN show. But for now, should we do some unboxing? Look at those. <laughs> now, you will have heard of Vision Wheels, I'm sure, but just in case you haven't, I can pretty much guarantee you that you'll have seen them because Metron 40s are the very wheel set that Peter Sagan wheelied across the finish line, having just won a Gen Rebel game, showing that these wheels are capable not only of winning a classic, but also of doing great wheelies. Both important attributes in a wheel set, I think you'll agree. But what makes a wheel set capable of winning races and doing great wheelies? Well, as you'll see, these are 40 millimeters deep, putting them very firmly in the category of great all-rounder. Aero, but also lightweight. How light? Well, let's consult with GCN scales. 600 grams. Whoa. Now, part of the reason why these are so light is because they're the tubular versions, meaning that the tire is actually glued onto the rim instead of, well, clinching onto it. So what racers choose to run, and it has to be said, there is a very good reason. Tubular tires feel amazing. There, I've said it. Weight, we can't argue with. We have just seen it with our own eyes. But aero, Hmm. Now, it's hard to be objective, isn't it? Given that you can't actually see the very thing that's holding you back, the air. So when I put this question to Vision, they pointed to the incredible amount of research that they've done into the most important part of this equation, the rim profile. They have designed, apparently, and tested over 350 rim profiles using computational fluid dynamics. So that is over 2,500 simulations, which, equates to over 1,150 hours of computer time. So put it another way, that is six months of solid work. And that's not even factoring in tea breaks. When you do that, oh, what's that like, a year? So what is that all important rim shape then? Well, it is the by now quite familiar blunt nose design and married to a really nice wide rim bed and brake track, meaning that your tire it's very well supported, but also the airflow is smooth from tire to rim, making the whole package more aerodynamic. But it isn't just about the rim. Oh no, we have in this front wheel 18 bladed spokes and 21 in the back, which I'm pretty sure by now you're going to be desperate to see. Wow. So from the 21 spokes to the brass nipples, which are the Stop sniggering at the back. It's for improved longevity. Seriously. And then, it's worth mentioning that these wheels are entirely built by hand. And then, let's not forget about the hubs. These are entirely made in-house. In fact, Vision say that they've invested in a brand new five axis CNC machine, whatever that is, in order to finely machine to super high tolerances, both the hub shell and also the free hub, which importantly, Sounds amazing. So, 742 grams, plus 600 grams of front wheel, 1,342 grams for your wheel set. That's, that's pretty light, that's pretty light. So, what about the disc brake version? Well, let's take a look. Here we go then, your Vision Metron 40 disc wheel. It shares the essential elements of the rim brake version, so that same aero rim profile, but crucially, some differences, mainly centered around the hub, 
clearly you have a disc mount. This is the splined international standard mount. And then of course you'll notice that there are significantly more spokes. And you'd be right, there are 24 in this front wheel and that is to handle the braking forces emanating from the hub as opposed to the rim. And then you'll also notice that's a really big quick release hole. There you go, look. And that's because they use a nine millimeter diameter quick release. I'll just demonstrate. It's kind of like a through axle for standard quick release bikes. And then, if you do have through axles, you can just pop the end caps off and replace them with the appropriate one that you need. Should we weigh it? 716 grams for your front wheel and the back one. 874, so plus 716. That equals 1,590. That's pretty light aero disc wheel set, that. Now there is one more thing inside this box. That's right, it's your wheel bags. Now what did I tell you about wheel bags? It's the sign of a good quality set of wheels. Not a surefire sign, mind you, but still, in this case, it kind of tells us what we already know. Now, I promised at the beginning of this video that I would let you know how to enter the competition. And being a man of my word, I'm gonna do just that. In the description below this video, there is a link. And that will take you straight through to the competition. Failing that, there is a link just there. If you click on that, that too will take you straight there. Or for another video, this time showing Vision Metron wheels on a bike that actually wins bike races, Nasa Buani of Cofidis, then that video is just up there. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN. That way you won't miss any more unboxing videos. And to do that, you just click there.